Mexico, I'll say it again, is a failed state. The State Department even admits that. Are we supposed to just take the whole hundred million desperate people? I mean, I mean, I, I we're already going bankrupt. I mean, do these illegal alien supporters realize what they're doing? I mean, I saw the woman cussing at you on the video with the Oslan shirt. I mean, why would they want to make this a Hispanic only uh, Oslan? I mean, it's so racist, but then they call you racist. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, you have to ask people, okay, if they say, well, it's okay, you know, people come from south of the border, they're in, you know, hard times, destitute, they need to work and everything. And, you know, we sympathize with that, obviously. But, you know, we have to secure our own country and keep it secure because otherwise the United States of America is, is going to be flooded with people. Where, where, where would people draw the line? Is it 100 million, uh, uh, 10 million illegals a year, 30, 100 million? What is it going to be? Uh, people coming in from all over the world? Are we just going to start welcoming, you know, planes and shiploads of people over here as illegal? No, that's not what the United States of America is about. And then anchor babies pay for everything yeah. as we go bankrupt. But again, that's what the big mega banks want. They want to bankrupt us so we go into receivership. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then the anchor baby thing is a whole other issue, which, uh, you know, that, that law is totally uh, misused. I mean, it was written uh, during uh, just after the uh, Civil War. Uh, for the, uh, the the children of slaves so that they could stay in the country legally. And it's been uh, totally like a lot of our uh, laws just abused and used. I mean, they've got uh, uh, baby drop houses over here where people come over, uh, women come over just to have babies so that they'll be American citizens. And uh, not to mention the whole illegal thing. Oh, yeah, big foundations put ads in the Mexican newspaper saying, come over, have your baby, here's how to do it. Yeah, and, you know, another thing I wanted to mention about that, too, is... Uh, they, you know, they say that we need the workers over here, the farm workers and that sort of thing. Okay, fine. So we come up with some kind of a program that allows them to come in and work and then go back home. But that's all baloney, too. All that does is drive the wages down of farm workers. Stay there, both of you. I want to play these Congressman Stark clips. He says the federal government can do whatever it wants. Listen to the radio. Can you imagine? George Strait was singing. Flying over to Germany as an American citizen and demanding free welfare and that your baby be paid for. You land a plane a week later at a hotel, your water breaks, you go have the child. The child becomes a German citizen. Your whole family can now stay there and get welfare. And then you run around on the streets and take over soccer games with Mexican flags running around. And then you go to German schools and tell the kids they can't wear German flags because you're offended by it. Then you have giant rallies. There's 30 million of you, and you chant, you know, basically down with Germany. Or if you moved to China and did the same thing. But our government is treasonous and treacherous, and now Sheriff Babu is coming out and saying our own government has become our enemy. And they take the goodwill, the hospitality, the American people, and they make it into a sick joke. The United States is being sacrificed on the altar of globalism. Steve Kemp and Sandy Jacobs. Uh, GoldenGateMenAndMen.org are our guest. This is a short segment, long segment coming up. I want to start by playing a clip we've already played and get their comment on it. We'll play the new clip in the next segment. This is Congressman Stark a few months ago saying there's no border problem in Arizona and arrogantly saying, oh, who are you going to shoot today? Just, just saying basically you're murderers and there's no border problem and talking to them like they're children. This is the face of arrogance. Here it is. Have something to say? <laughs> yep. What are you? What? Who are you going to kill today? Who are we going to kill today? Yeah. Well, I just would like to know. Well, like, actually, American citizens are being killed right now by this that's, drug war that's going on. That's right. Okay. I want to know why the federal government is not doing uh, anything or a lot more to seal our borders in this country so that we're a solvent country again. Well, we can't. We can't get enough Minutemen armed. We'd like to. Get all the Minutemen armed so that they can stop shooting people here. It's not here. our job. We're just citizens. It's the United States we government constitutionally kind of, protect us. Uh, well, so I say, we'll try, and get, we'll try and get you some more arms and uh, get you down there to... We don't want to go down there. We want to have lives, of normal lives. We pay taxes. And we, uh -huh. pay, we pay to have the government take care of our borders. Is that all? Is that all what? The government should do well, that's one of the things the government is supposed to do. That's what the federal government is there for. They well, said they were going to do it, and they're not doing well, it. Well, then we don't need the Minutemen. That's, that's correct. Good. But we don't want to we well, don't want that, to be doing let's this. send the Minutemen home. That's a good idea. No, why don't why, why, why you answer the question? Answer the question. Answer. What answer? Wait a minute. Wait, you 
want to, you, you don't want to, what kind of an answer would you like, young man? He asked the question. Look, well, can I answer? Do you mind if I answer his question? Excuse me. Uh, you catch your turn. Please do answer the question. Yeah, what's your question? The question is, why is the federal government leaving our borders porous for anybody uh, to come in anywhere they want? If, if you knew anything about our borders, yeah. you would know that that's not the case. Our borders are quite secure, thank you. How do you that? Okay. Our borders are quite secure. Total arrogance, total contempt. He talks to them like they're ch children. Oh, you don't want to murder some people. Well, that's good. We don't need the Minutemen then. And he talks to all his idiot constituents, you know, that are supporting him. But most of the people didn't support him. They're not idiots. Uh, going back to uh, Steve Kemp and Sandy Jacobs, uh, guys. I mean, how do you, it's it's horrible watching the video. But what is it like to have him basically calling you murderers? And then telling you there's no problem on the border. Well, I mean, he's he's been calling us names for years, so that no longer bothers me. But the other people who are just coming into light of all this, they're offended. And, um, you know, the first thing we need to do, is, to do is secure the borders. And why would we want to do anything after that until we have an actual exit entry exit program that literally works and is enforced because we can't even say oh according to them we can't even track who's here and we don't know where they live well again they're arrogant because they're the ones engaged in treason they're the ones supporting uh this racist la reconquista and so they've got to put it back on you you're a racist you're a murderer. Who are you going to kill today, lady? You dare come ask me about the border. Who are you going to murder today? It's like, I don't want government-run health care. Oh, you're a racist. I don't want to turn my guns in. Oh, you're a racist. They're just cold-bloodedly doing this. They think they're going to get away with it. Steve, your take on this. Well, um, yeah, it's uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, you know, sitting in the meeting, uh, that particular meeting that you played the clip from, uh, most of the people in there were essentially uh, stark supporters, and they go to the meetings, and they're pretty, you know, vanilla-type meetings. Um, so I brought up that point, and uh, what happened was is I believe that Stark was trying to make fun of me so the rest of his constituents and the, the audience would just laugh, uh, you know, go along with him. But it backfired, and people got really ticked off, you know. <laughs> like, most people want the border secured, and they want this problem solved in a, in a rational way. Well, stay there. Let's like talk more about it when we come back. I mean, of course they got mad. He's arrogantly treating everybody like they're morons. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Steve Kemp and Sandy Jacobs are our guests. Coming up towards the end of this segment, I'm going to take a few calls specifically on the outrageous nature of the illegal aliens funded by the federal government and the big corporations saying, take your American flag off your shirt, send those kids home from school, take that American flag down off the post office, take it off that auto parts store. Uh, this is Mexico. Go home, pilgrims. Go back to Europe. Uh, taking over baseball games, screaming Mexico, Mexico, waving flags. Mexico's collapsing. There's death threats. Uh, farmers being killed. Police being killed. Hits. Contracts have been put out. And the media is running the hoax that Minutemen are out murdering people, and they've got a big Robert Rodriguez movie coming out. We got the script, became national news a few months ago, it comes out in September, Machete, and he claims he's edited the stuff out. But in the script, it's, it's white people are all racist out murdering Hispanic children and crucifying priests and have to be killed. And there's a La Reconquista, the, we didn't cross the border, it crossed us, and the gringos die. And I mean, this is all government funded. Uh, now, uh, going back to Steve and Sandy, finishing up your comments about what he said with the, that there's no border problem, similar to what Reed has said, and then we'll get to the new video clip, even more outrageous, saying the feds can do anything they want and make you do anything in your individual life they want. You are their slave. But comments on the last video. Yeah, on the last video, uh, it, it, you know, it, it, he was, I think, taken by surprise that the people in the audience reacted the way they did to him. Um, they didn't go along with it, and uh, it, it really uh, ticked them off. And we were talking uh, we're talking about an audience of uh, mixed people out there. They're Asian people, uh, Hispanic, uh, you know, people from the Bay Area, essentially, uh, which is the big melting pot here. And a lot of people are ticked off. And, and it's essentially, uh, the uh, the Hispanic uh, 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 Americans, if the, you know, nationalized or otherwise,
lives of people who are born here, they're really ticked off at what's going on with the illegal immigration just like the rest of us. And I'd like to add that illegal immigration just isn't from South's border. It's from all over the world. It just so happens that we see more of it from South's border because we have, happen to live in border. Yeah, 80% of it's are roughly from Mexico. And people see the standard of living going down. They see the states going bankrupt. And, and that's the big hoax. The media says all Hispanics want open borders. I've seen polls of well over 70% want to control our borders. They understand what's happening. They, they're they Americans. They don't want to run around with Mexican flags screaming La Reconquista, just like most white people don't want to join the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, and I'll, I'll say this too about the, uh, the a lot of people in the country don't realize uh, what it's like. I mean, they, they, they see the gardener, they see the housekeeper, and say, okay, you know, this, that, or the other thing. There's, you know, harmless people. When you go out to some of these protest rallies in a place like San Francisco, uh, you really see what's going on out there. You see people that are in your face, angry, uh, sprouting off everything that they can, calling you racist, all these names and, and whatnot. Uh, and I don't While like wearing Oslan shirts. And for <laughs> folks that don't know what Oslan is, tell them. Uh, uh, Oslan is, is, is they want their form of uh, government in here. Yeah, it's a racial, well, La Raza means for those in the race, everything, for those outside the race, nothing. I mean, that's the slogan. That's the big national group. Sorry, make the other point you wanted to make. Uh, the other point is, is, is about the, uh, uh, the the children of the illegals who are, are essentially the anchor babies under the 14th Amendment. They, uh, they are legal citizens that are born here. Uh, you could say that they, the first generation comes in here and they work hard because they understand what it's like to be poor and need things. So they come in and they do whatever they can to make a living. Uh, that, that is not necessarily true with their children. So then what's going to happen on the next generation is you're going to have to have a whole new batch of uh, people coming in, illegals coming in. No, that's already money. happening, and, and, yeah. and we see that with, with, with anybody getting decadent and the gangbanger culture is so popular, and we know what's, what, what's happening. Right, exactly. The second generation is not going to follow the first. Then you got to import another uh, generation to take care of these, quote, jobs that Americans won't do. I don't know what, what, what Americans are going to do because we don't have manufacturing left here. We don't have this. We don't have that anymore. It's all being exported. Labor's being uh, imported, exported. It's, it's, it's America uh, had better wake up that uh, this country is on its way down. I mean, we're, we're in a, uh, what do they call it, death spiral. Oh, yeah, and, uh, and our we're kids, almost, they're, we're almost on the they ground. can't even find jobs right now. I mean, they're being indoctrinated in our schools to accept all this. Uh, you know, I mean, Congressman Stark says, you know, we asked him, do you support E-Verify? And he's all, well, not the unconstitutional parts of it, just like the Arizona law unconstitutional. It's uh, just, it, it's crazy. Why do these folks see themselves as being from Mexico, and that why do they love flying Mexican flags? I mean, it's so elementary. You've got Lulac and Moldef, and uh, you've got Mecha and La Raza all openly saying this is really Mexico. Why are they fleeing Mexico and then saying they want to live under the same tyranny? Why, why are they so nationalistic? Well, they hold no, no allegiance to the United States for one. And, I mean, I'm sure if you were in the position in Mexico, you'd want all the freebies we're, we're handing out left and right. We really do have a despicable government. I think what Sheriff Babu says in Cyber News Service today, quote, our own government has become our enemy. Uh, I mean, that's really, this. that's what's happening. And it's they need to get amnesty before the full depression arrives because then they know it's going to be very hard to get it done and uh this the open borders have already irrevocably damaged the country the question is will it be allowed to fully destroy the nation